going to show you how to modify your 2019 Prado GXL. Um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, just uh, add the make the traction control active, even though you're on. Uh, uh, even though you engage the uh, rear lock, because by default, by factory settings, uh, once you put uh, you engage your rear lock on your Prado. Uh, it will turn off the traction control, which means the the front wheel front become uh, become unlocked, and it just if you lift one wheel on one wheel up in the air, it just mm. keeps spinning. So, so with with the traction control on, if, if we activate that while the rear wheel uh, rear lock is on, it's like having a modified or like a pseudo. Uh, front lock as well yeah. right so it's just like having a triple locker but it's not triple. yeah you, yeah you would have so the re rear lock the center, center lock center and lock. front wheel which is it mimic the diff locker the front yeah so here's, here's the circuitry so that's your abs it's a blue I said purple and blue cape wire uh, so this is so this is the rear um, diff lock at the back so what happened was when you put into the rear engage the rear diff lock this 12 volt to become a zero volts so the idea is you put a 12, 12 volts back into the AS, uh, ABS so that it will engage again so we put a relay here it, you got a two pole relay so this one's normally closed it's normally open okay and we put a switch it coming from ignition in inside the cabin and zero volts and we run a cable from the battery 12 volt battery with a fuse so when you press that this one energize and it, it flip to the other side so you still feeding a 12 volts into the EBS so this is what we did can you see that so this is the ABS module so you just pull this out. Okay. Just gonna unclip this. What do I clip then? Okay. Is that it? Yeah. One more. Okay. So there is a purple wire here. So or, or at the if it's like that, it's the one on the top is on the purple wire here. Okay. So what's my drawing? So the purple purple wire is this one here. It coming from the um, the rear uh, rear diff lock. So the idea is you break the purple wire, okay? Then put the purple one I'm um, normally close to the relay, okay? And the other one is on the common of the relay. So you got continuation. You got this one is like. A factory settings okay then we run a can you show him the cable glad oh yeah so we attach a power source directly into the 12 volt battery with a fuse uh yeah with a fuse and it the fuse is over here and then this one runs all, at, the, way the, back. all the way at the back running over there yeah into the normally open pole of the relay yeah so that's the relay, that's the relay there, the yeah square thing over yeah. there that one so we put this relay as a double turbo double pole um two pole relay okay so if you're thinking about it like you can get the blue in blue in red here that's your um that is your ignition supply don't just tap a cable from purple relay to the blue blue and red 
otherwise the if otherwise it melt the cable or if if you got a fuse it blow the fuse you need to cut cut the um, the purple wire in half okay but we don't want um you can cut that purple one in half and and the one that coming from your abs wiring you, you can tap it there but the problem with that is you cannot turn off your traction control so it's, it's, like, it's gonna be full time yeah for it's always always on yeah so the idea is you can you can turn off your traction control while you're driving on, on the sand like that and yeah we don't want we don't want to do that that's why we add a switch with a relay because it costs you about around 50 bucks in it including the switch yeah something like that yeah yeah because as as neil said you can just uh tap it directly to that purple wire but again it will make the uh, uh, traction control always on when even uh like well, even even you want to turn it off you cannot turn it off yeah okay so it's easy to remove this um yes easy to put it back so hopefully you understand what we did okay we, we're just gonna put this back again then we can go inside the car to show you the switch So I'm just doing it with my one hand. Oh, done. So we're gonna show you what's the switch then? Uh, this is the switch that we added uh, to engage the traction control when the rear lock is uh, activated as well. Yeah. Okay, so try to flick the switch while it's everything's normal. So it doesn't do anything to the car, right? Yeah, if you look at the dashboard, it, you, you, you got nothing. It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So, so the idea with this is you, you turn you turn it on your um your traction control yeah. or ABS. So normal driving, it doesn't. Even if you accidentally push it, it doesn't change your traction control. So it doesn't affect anything yeah. on your normal driving. Yeah okay so now so this is like flicking the switch with the relay hmm. okay so now engage it to so we'll get engage the rear wheel lock and what, just, where's the dog it's outside i'm just looking at my uh, cheat sheet <laughs> <laughs> that's your cheat sheet this, this <laughs> my cheat sheet because uh, as you all know uh, it's a bit uh there's a a bit of a step in engaging the rear lock so neutral for low then center diff center diff is on for low and then put it on drive are you in, then, are, are you in lock yep and put it on rear and hopefully it locks you have to move it I want to or reverse mm -hmm. this kid you're gonna get run over so now so now it's um rear diff lock is on the rear differential is on traction control is off and the stability control is off okay so that's a default of a Toyota Prado yeah, the uh, with setting. the factory diff lock so we're gonna use the we're gonna turn on the traction control using the modification that we made with a switch okay so if you look at that one look at the switch there uh, stability control is off but if I press that one it engages the traction control so the traction control is now active the stability control is still off which is not what you want by pressing this button yep 
So when you, when you turn it off, you got ABS is off, your traction control is off as well. So yes. Yep. So now if uh, by using that switch and that modification, uh, we already have traction control, which serves as our uh, front lock. And then we'll have center diff lock, and then we have the factory locker, rear, rear, locker. rear locker, and then we're on four low. So hopefully that will help help yeah. you. Uh, it should climb any hills now. <laughs> Okay, the one thing that we um, we notice by doing this modification is when the one wheel, front wheel is it's hanging up in the air, um, ABS or even traction control is working, it doesn't give you any more beeping beeping noise. Mm, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't give you any beeping noise while you are in this um, um, in this mode. So if it's normal mode, uh, for example, the flock is off, uh, for low, um, yeah. If it's you only using traction traction control, it's, it beeps at you. But when the diff flock is on and pressing this button, the traction beep it doesn't beep at you anymore. But the traction control works. You know what I mean? Yep, and we've tested it. Uh Glass, glass, house yeah, gla glass house mountain and uh, yeah uh, Neil has able to uh, take a uh, capture a video of, of it of it working like uh, with one wheel uh, hanging up and you, you could see that, that the traction control works it, it the, the wheel doesn't spin so yeah it worked yeah do you want to try <laughs> let's try over here in the hills over here yeah okay. Ilak po yung center muna. Ilak po yung engage po yung rear locker. Dito ka sa rapat. Dito ka sa pandemic. Dito ka sa Para makita yung Okay, that was traction control off. Um, diff lock on, center diff lock on, rear diff, diff lock on, traction control off. Okay, turn the traction control on. Para Para makikisakay lang Parang dali ah Nakalakar ka? Uh -huh. 